All right, everybody. You want to see what a road trip is like in a Model 3 long range? Let's do it. We're starting at 77%, which says I should get 221 miles with it. We're going to change this down because I really don't need it right now. It's nice outside. We're heading all the way to Palm Coast, Florida, just south of St. Augustine. So I just put the address in. It says we need to stop at the Tifton Supercharger for 15 minutes. Uh, or Jas and Jasper for 30 to get there with 14%. So you can zoom out. You can click here. That shows you all the superchargers. So there's a Chick-fil-A in Cordial that I like. I don't know about Tifton. Uh, there might be a Chick-fil-A in Tifton. Let's see. So this is what's cool. You can check. Yeah, it's at a Starbucks. I think that's a Chick Fil A. Yep, that's a Chick Fil A. So we'll stop there, and I'll get lunch, and I'll update y'all once uh, we get there. It says so, twenty one percent. We'll let you know. All right, so we're a little bit into our journey here, not much. Um, and we got 192 miles of range. It's on autopilot right now. I'm telling it I want it to stay. It's flashing blue, wants me to touch it. So it's telling me, or I'm telling it, I want to stay one car length away from the car in front of me, two, and I can actually up that, and that'll create more of a distance between the vehicle you're following, like that. But anyhow, we're going to get closer because it's better aerodynamics because we're behind a semi. So, uh, when I typed in, it wanted me to go to Tifton to supercharge at 21%. Well, with a Tesla, you roll up the lower your battery percentage, the faster you'll charge. Also, when you go into your settings here, you hit your supercharger. It's going to tell you all the supercharges on your route. So you can click on the supercharger. Now it's giving us the data for Tifton, which it says 10 stalls are there, eight are available at this moment, only 150 kilowatt max. Uh, and it's 35 cents per kilowatt. So there's a Chick-fil-A there, but I also need to stop and get some things from Walmart, which I can do a mobile order at the Valdosta Walmart, pick up, get my Chick-fil-A and then go to the charger. But looky here, 250 kilowatt max. So I'm getting 100 kilowatts more and it's 30 cents per kilowatt hour. And I'm gonna roll in with a much lower battery. Now, the car doesn't want me to do that. The car's telling me I'm gonna roll in at 3% battery and charge for 40 minutes. But now I only have one charging stop, so We'll see about that. But I, what I wanted to show y'all is I'll do it real quick. So the car car moved over on itself with the enhanced autopilot. Now that I don't have this semi blocking me, it's gonna go up in speed a little bit. Let's get it to about 83. Beautiful state of Georgia, anything over eight, uh, 15 over is a super speeder ticket, guaranteed 500 bucks. So what it will actually do is the car will, yep, there it is. The car just says, hey, stay below 80 to reach your destination. And then it'll it'll change throughout. So we'll change it to 80, and I would be shocked if it doesn't tell us, hey, you need to slow down to 75. Because it's aerodynamics, right? The faster you go, the more air it's pushing, the harder it is, the more battery you consume. So, in a situation like this, I do not mind slow down a little bit and tucking in behind a car because it saves me a whole nother charging stop. But anyhow, uh, we're gonna keep the road trip video going. 66% battery at 187 miles. Um, and then this is really cool on your energy screen. When people say, well, I don't know, I get nervous about the battery dying on me. Dude, I'm telling you, you have to go on a mission to run out of battery on a road trip in this car. 
in a Tesla, there's so many superchargers. Um, so this is what my battery looks like, and it says range tips. So 6.7 mile per hour wind from the south has cost us 0.7 miles this trip. That's how crazy accurate and how much data Tesla has. So um, we're gonna keep on rolling. We'll check in with y'all later. All right, I want to give you an update. This car wants me to move over, so I just hit that. That's all I did. Cool. All right. So, uh, currently got 55 miles of range, 19% battery left. Here's our map. Uh, removed the stop in, where was it? Tifton. We're past Tifton, so no turning back. There's our stop in Valdosta. Gonna stop at the Chick-fil-A at the exit first, grab my food in the drive-thru. Should have 3% at Chick-fil-A. Then it's right down the road. Should roll into the supercharger with 2%. There's six available right now. Let's hope we don't have to wait too long. Uh, says we need to stop for 45 minutes to charge to go all the way to Palm Coast, but we probably won't stay there that long. We'll probably charge and get get enough to get to probably the North St. Augustine charger. Hop on there real quick. And uh, all right. See y'all in 31 miles. I uh, hope we make it. All right. Well, we made it to the Valdosta Chick fil A sitting in line. Uh, it says I got 13 miles to go five five percent and scrolling here says we still should be able to make it to the supercharger with three percent and it's just right down the road so i have faith i have faith I'll update y'all once we get to the supercharger all right valdosta supercharger rolled in three percent Sorry, it's a little bumpy. 3% or 9 miles. Now, it's saying we need to charge for 45 minutes to get to St. Augustine. Uh, ooh, that's not a good sign. Maybe. The guys, they're working. Let's hope, uh, let's hope it ain't a problem. So, I'm going to back the bad boy up and get plugged in. Right, I'm going to start, so when I plug in, I'm going to start my stopwatch on my Garmin watch here. Battery very low. Vehicle consumes battery power. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to plug it in and start my stopwatch at the same time. Alright, we're in. Stopwatch is started. Where are we at? It's saying 45 minutes to continue trip, but I, we're not going to stay here that long. So I think we're going to get over a thousand miles an hour. So let's let's see where we get. And I'll also show y'all how much it costs to supercharge. Um, I'm getting there. see here where we at this was 250 right yeah 250 kilowatts can we get up there 600 yeah I forgot to check the miles I think it was like eight or nine miles uh, cuz it was 10 right before I pulled in so we've already added seven miles here we go there it is get up there Ten ten seventy gonna be our the top. Yeah. Cool. Alright, well it's uh just shy of one o'clock and we've added sixteen miles in that short amount of time. We'll check back in a little bit. All right, a minute 42 of charging. That already added 18 miles. 
So, quick uh, supercharging thing. And there's their Starlink satellite. You see these two transformers. Every supercharger, there's a number and a letter. I'm at 1A, he's plugged in at 1B. When I got here, it was literally just me, y'all saw that. He chose to park literally right next to me. Well, the problem when you do that is that now he and I are both running off one of those. That's one. That's why these are two. So the ones that say two run off of a separate one. So if y'all are here at a supercharger and you there's a car on one that says one, go to the one that says two because you're not pulling both power from the same thing. Um, you know, is it really gonna make that much of a difference? Two cars, maybe not, but if we're both pulling 250 kilowatt, yeah, yeah, it does make a difference. But anyhow, it's starting to fill up. Let's see where we're at. All right, we've been plugged in seven minutes and 25 seconds. Literally just enough time to go walk in, use the restroom, and come back. And we've added 100 miles of range. Pretty slick. 102, actually. So y'all can see the charge rate has dropped down a little bit. 272 miles per hour of charge now. Let's take a look at the map. I'm here. I don't know why it's telling me that. edit trip get rid of Aldosta okay we're already here so it's saying we can continue our trip in 25 minutes um, but here's what here's once you once you get comfortable with the car you start looking at things and going okay so we got 120 miles of range right now the Chaffee Road one it's 250 and this 37 is kind of expensive, but whatever. Um, how far is that? 94.4 miles from here. So that's kind of cutting it close. Sometimes it tells you a little bit more than what it's actually going to get you. But we could totally get there. If we unplugged right now, we could get there. Now, I still haven't eaten my Chick-fil-A. So, in all reality, this is the one we're shooting for is um, the one, the new one at the Wawa in St. Augustine. Um, that's 130 miles. So, we can't get there yet. And also, it's kind of cool, and I'll show you this, is... The ones that have numbers on them, so it says three is available, three there, it's not really on the way. Moving out to Jacksonville, Chaffee Road, six are available. The other ones are doled out. You see them, but they're doled out. There's the one in St. Austin we want to get to. The reason they are not bright red is because the car can't get to them with what juice is in it. Um, so after I eat my Chick-fil-A, check back in and I'll show you and those should be available to us so what nine just about 10 minutes of charge we're down to 600 ish at a 20 127 all right uh, tweak the trip a little bit so it changed that I think it added five minutes but we won't pay too much attention to that so we've charged now for 23 and a half minutes we're at 226 miles of range. We're at 80%. Um, we have slowed significantly down to 236, 37 miles of range. But we've added, in 23 minutes, we've added 218 miles of range. So this is where the Inman Road Charger I'm shooting for. Got to stop at Walmart, get some stuff for the Christmas party. Um, but it's saying if we charge for another 15 minutes, we'll get to the Walmart in St. Augustine. I'm sorry. If we leave right now and I press continue trip, we will get to the Walmart in St. Augustine with 12% at 405. And then I should be able to get to my buddy's house, um, at 2%. Obviously we don't want to roll in at 2% because we still have to get back. And he doesn't have a charger there, at least not that I know of. So, 
we are gonna get rolling as soon as I end this because uh, our speed has slowed down. That way when we roll into the Charger at Inman Road in St. Augustine, we will juice back up closer to that thousand mile per hour range. So this is what's really, really important when you're planning your trip to truly maximize efficiency. Um, the car is gonna always err on the side of conservatism to not, I don't know if that's a word, it's gonna give you conservative numbers. The car will not let you be stranded. So, uh, let's see. We are, let's see if I can change this to the Inman Road. Change that as a destination and see what it tells us. That one. Yeah, we want to add that there stop. Yeah, so it's saying we're going to get to that charger at 18%, and we literally have to charge zero minutes, but we want a little bit of juice in when we get there. So I'm going to stop us, and we'll update you once we uh, get closer. Let's we'll see if we really roll in at 18%. So, had to make a quick pit stop here at the Bentley dealer in Jacksonville. Two months ago, I saw this Arnage on the auction and test drove it, love it. Always wanted one of these, but the resale market for these is tough. You, you gotta have somebody who has enough money, cash to buy a Bentley because you can't really get it financed because this is a 2006. It's only got 30,000 miles on it, but it's a gorgeous car and they still got it. Maybe I can strike a deal by the end of the year. We'll see. They still got it though. Okay, well I can tell you uh, we we're not getting there with 18%, getting there with eight. But also, I did make a detour at the Bentley dealership to go check on a Arnage that I am interested in getting for the dealership for inventory. But anyhow, I digress. Plus, I was definitely not going anywhere near 70 miles an hour. Very, very close. Closer to 90. So, uh, 22 miles here at the Wawa. Everybody charging up. Looks like... Uh, it pretty much isn't a good spot to go, so I'm just going to go here. I did not reset my watch. Trying to hit these people. So I did not reset my watch. We've charged for 26 minutes and 12 seconds. So we're going to plug in and start the watch. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, so it's selling us two minutes to complete trip just to get to Walmart, really don't need to. So, I'm probably gonna charge here. I'd probably like to leave here with about 100 miles worth of range, uh, just for driving around town while I'm here visiting for the next day. Um, I'll update you. where are we at? Three, 350, we'll sit, we'll sit tight to see how high it gets with all these other cars plugged in next to us. How about that? We're getting close. I mean, we've got 254 watts, kilowatts, so that's awesome. Yep, 1071. Sweet. All right, I'm going to run inside, use the restroom, and uh, we'll see what we'll have when I get back. Okay, we're at 103 miles. Let's see where we're at. 30 two minutes so it has been plugged in now for uh, 
six minutes? Six or seven minutes? I have to look at the clock. Y'all have it. Anyhow, uh, we're getting to 755 miles per hour charge. Now we're down to only 181 of the 250 kilowatts. Uh, but here's how much it's cost. Uh, how much it has cost. We've added 22.8, let's move in kilowatt hours at 37 cents a kilowatt. To put it in perspective, the price, oops, the price of that, I pay 0 0.064 cents a kilowatt hour at my house. Um, so, I mean, there's the markup. I'm sure Tesla's paying much less than the average residential consumer for the electricity. Um, that's a that's a revenue stream that a lot of people aren't thinking of with Tesla. Got to remember, very very few people have a uh, free supercharging anymore, and this is cheap. If you were in California or somewhere else, like Tesla's definitely making a profit on energy sales, uh, which is awesome if you own Tesla stock. So anyhow, we're gonna cut it off here, and uh, yeah, that's a road trip in a Tesla. It's pretty easy. Total charge time thirty three minutes give or take and we got 121 miles of range to drive around for the next day in town till we got to pass the supercharger on the way back to georgia all righty